podcast called Happy, Sad, Confused, but tonight it is my honor to help steer the ship for this amazing panel for Sony Pictures. Three amazing films we're talking about tonight. Are you ready, guys? Yeah. We're talking about iconic characters, amazing actors, exclusive footage just for you guys. A lot to talk about. So later on, we're going to be talking about a character called Venom. Any, any fans? Yeah. Venom The Last Dance is coming very soon, and we've got some amazing folks to talk to, some cool footage to show off. Again, you're in the right place. We're also, I'm very excited about this, Karate Kid fans in the house. Yeah. from this new movie, The Karate Kid Legends. And we're gonna show off some footage for the first time tonight. But first up, um, I'm a comic book geek, I like you guys. Look at my, my shirt for, for <laughs> I'm wearing the, the only shirt appropriate for tonight. Uh, Craven the Hunter, I'm obsessed with this character. Yeah. Craven on the big screen. Um, and this film that is coming soon in December, marries a great filmmaker, a fantastic actor, amazing visuals, brutal action, you're in for a treat, we're going to get right to it right now with the director of Craven the Hunter. Give a warm welcome to the one and only J.C. Shandor. Yeah! Talk to me a little bit about what drew you to this character in this film of all films. Yeah, it's an interesting, you know, it's a, it's a hard choice in your life. You're going to spend a lot of time on these things. So, um, you know, the first film I, I ever saw in a movie theater was Richard Donner's Superman. You know, I was like five years old, I think, or six years old. And that had obviously a massive effect on me. I became a, a, a movie director because of it in a weird way. And, and so, you know, over my career, I'd, I'd been offered a couple of these films before, um, but when, when this came along, the, the idea that this character had, had never been put on, on, on screen before, you know, so you were gonna be in charge of, of building an entire world and finding the right people to play all these characters. Um, and then I did a deeper dive, you know, back into all the books and, and really went there. And when you get in there, it's a pretty, it's a pretty, pretty intense, intense arc. And, um, and that just, uh, that drew me to it. And, and then, you know, the last thing you do is you get a script and it's like this gift. And the script here was this, uh, you know, this journey that, that Craven, that Sergei goes on and it is, um, you know, it's like a, it's like an old, you know, gangster film, basically. Um, there's this classic kind of journey, but, uh, but obviously with a, a little bit of a Marvel spin on it. <laughs> and you can't do Craven. This ain't a PG Craven. You don't do it that way. It's, it, you gotta go brutal with Craven. Talk to me a little bit about the choice of how to convey that brutality, that edginess, that, that violence in a film like this that's needed. Yeah, no, it was a, it was an interesting conversation that we had with the, the studio, and, and you know, obviously, when you get in those books, it's it's pretty pretty intense. And um, when the studio you know gave us the opportunity to see if we wanted to do this as an R, we were like, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yes. It, it, it was an amazing opportunity. It sort of um, opened up, uh, you know some really intense kind of grindhouse stuff on one side, and then some also really intense character stuff that quite frankly, you know, is in the core of the comic books. I mean, talking about character stuff, I mean, honestly, as a film fan and a Craven fan, the marriage of you with this material got me very excited when I heard about this, because, um, look, anybody that knows JC's work knows he loves morally complex characters, you know, you look at Oscar Isaac in the most violent year, Redford in All is Lost, 
And there's kind of a continuation here with the likes of Russell Crowe and Aaron Taylor Johnson. Do you see a, a through line in all these films and characters? Yeah, I think it's a weird thing when, when you're when you're in the middle of it, you kind of don't, but, but looking back at, at a couple films now, there, there definitely is this sort of fascination that I have with, with kind of the, you know, the gray area of the human experience. And it's like, you know, I don't think anyone starts out their life like wanting to be a villain, you know? And, and, and in fact, a lot of people who are villains probably don't realize it, you know? And, and so, you know, when you get into this character, you realize um, it was a challenge of like, how do we how do we start this journey where this guy thinks he's making making the the just moves and, and then in a weird way um, you know fate kind of comes and gets him and uh, you know he we start a film with a with a young with a young kid uh, who wants nothing to do with his dad and doesn't want to have anything to do with that life and in a weird way fate you know kind of draws him towards it. So at the end of the day, if you had to sum up, what's the, what's the J.C. Chandler take on this film? What can we expect? Um, well, I think it's good, which is a good start. <laughs> That's the point. It's really good. I mean, we're all super excited. You know, we started this. Um, you know, the first thing you got to do is it's a Marvel film, right? So you know, the action, the team that I got to work with on this. I mean, we built some set pieces and some action pieces that you know I'm super proud of, and it's just so fun. And then you know, there's a, it's not just Craven. We we've gotten the opportunity to really dive into the you know the, the Marvel, the Marvel characters here in a really cool way, and and so you know we've had a maquette of the of the Rhino like staring back at me on, on one of our conference tables for like three years now, and you know we took this this stuff seriously. We you know we wanted to have the spirit of those characters be be what be what the fans want, and and also you know bring it to a screen in in, in, in a new way, and so um, you know but I think. If I had to say what I'm actually, one of the things I'm most proud about with the film is that we've, you know, and I guess this is what some of my films share, we've, we've walked a tonal balance where, you know, myself as a storyteller and as the director, I know the actors, every performance, um, like, you know, we're not breaking the fourth wall, we're, we're we are like all in, we, we believe in this story like it was, like it was really happening, you know, and so that tonal balance where all of us and the actors are like 100% in, um, but yet when you step back, the movie still knows that it's a big, fun, you know, Marvel film that's supposed to be a, a good Friday night out, and, and I think, you know, I, I I can't wait for people to, you know, we've been working at this for a long time, and uh, I can't wait for people to come, um, come and see it. And I know we can't, can't show you the whole film here tonight, but, um, but we're gonna do the next best thing, which is basically show you the opening of the film. Um, and uh, so before we that, I just wanna say to this audience here, this is just for you guys, so cell phones down, please don't record. Obviously there's, there's like five things you had to have. You gotta have the movie star, but the physicality of this role, um, you know, I, I, I really, we wanted to walk this line where, where it was grounded in, in a way that, you know, he's not flying, it's not Superman. As much as I love Superman, he's not Superman. He's a, he's a man. Um, and uh, he can do some pretty crazy things, but, but he can't fly. And, and so to find an actor um, who has, you know, the ability to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with a lot of these other actors in this movie. We got an amazing cast and, and hold up the, the chops from a, from a performance standpoint, but also be able to physically um, move in the way that we're, we asked him to, to be, which is this sort of animalistic dance, you know, violent, amazing kind of mashup, and, and yet have it all feel grounded in a way that you still felt like it was happening sort of where we are. And um, so hopefully that gave you a little taste, but, but I think the whole film, you know, that's something we, um, we tried to, to achieve. And so, you know, Aaron was just, first meeting I had with him, it was like, you know, he walks in the room, he's quite a, you know, my abs and his abs are very similar, you know? And, um, and you know, he walks in the room and it's a, it's a, it's a pretty, pretty, it was, it was sort of, you know, sometimes you just, you just know, and so I think he was, um, you know, he was born, born to play Craven in a way. Born to play Craven, you say. <laughs> I wonder if we have anybody in the house that was born to play Craven, folks.
What do you think, JC? I don't know. He's, he, I heard that he might be in the house. Did you, have you seen Alan Taylor Johnson in the house, fellas? <laughs> because like he's obviously also the world's greatest hunter, lethal in all ways. So maybe, I don't know, do those things go along with conservationists? I think I was, I think I was probably taking a little out of context then. I think, you know, like all great hunters, Craven uh, respects his prey and he respects the natural order. He's an apex predator at the top of the food chain. Uh, look, Craven's a hunter, not a poacher. And like every, like every hunter knows, sometimes you've got to cull the herd to preserve, you know, order. But of course, um, once he starts applying that to human beings, that's when it becomes a pretty dark story, you know? Um, so yeah, uh, and I've not seen that in a comic book movie before, so. Um, speaking of things we haven't seen in a comic book movie, I think we have a little more footage to show. <laughs> Movie. Should we give them a little more of Craven the Hunter, Aaron? What do you think? Uh, maybe, maybe this is just buy some tickets. No, you guys can wait. What do you think? You want to see some more? I was going to say, where my lions at? But it sounds like you're all here. Let's see how Craven really gets shit done. <laughs> Special to your garments, so um, take a little look later, guys. So the good news is, if you've got one of those key rings, you've made Craven's list, which doesn't sound like a good list to be on, but actually is in this case. Uh, and with that, you can, the good list. <laughs> you can scan the QR code and enter to win some very cool prizes, including a pre screening of the film of PlayStation 5. Don't worry, guys, if you didn't get one, just make sure to follow uh, Craven the Hunter's social media uh, for all sorts of updates. Um, before we go, Aaron, I don't know if you've noticed this, you're not the only Craven in the house. Have you spotted other Cravens around? I have noticed a couple, yeah. They keep following me around at my seat since I got it, so yeah. There's a Craven. There's one, see? Yeah. This is about as far as I can see from here. This but yeah, there's a few more around here. Should we, should we bring them up? Should we bring them up? Oh my god, yeah, should we get you? Uh, you want to come up? Yeah! Oh, there we go. Yeah, yes, you're definitely a Craven. Yeah, yeah, you, you. Come, come, come up here, man. Come up here, man. This is history of the It's an open cast. This, this, this is the Craven crew. There you go. Yes. Thank you, we got a great lady there. Here they come, and we're going to get the first photo op in history with multiple Cravens. <laughs> oh great, I'm glad to put the lights on, it actually goes... It's a big room, man. it's a big room. What are you doing back there, guys? Yeah. This is amazing. You are comic fun. Wow. 4,000 thumbs ups on the Craven the Hunter. Oh, here they come. Yeah. Come on out, guys. Yeah. Wow! Jesus, it keeps going. We got a few here. 
Yeah, but you can follow, you've been, you've been hanging around New York like this, it's great. Incognito, right in camouflage. Yes, come on, come on in. So I think you guys are gonna turn around and get a photo. We'll get all these guys. Wow. I don't know what to get in the middle there. Get yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Get in. Yeah. Get in. <laughs> all right, guys. This is your chance. You're posing with about 25 Cravens and Aaron Taylor Johnson. Put your game face on. I was gonna wear mine before. There is Aaron with my arm. <laughs> Thanks for everyone's patience here. We've got a lot of tools, we've got a lot of, uh, got a lot of weapons out here right now. Beautiful. There we have it, guys. Nice one, guys. Thank you, guys. One more, this way, this way. One more, we're facing this way, guys. Go ahead. Drum roll, here we go. Here it comes. Okay, okay. So this this one is very important because finally we are going to see the different worlds. Oh yeah. There we go. As you can see, finally Daniel LaRusso and Jackie Chan's Mr. Han are together in this movie, guys. This is an expansion of the Karate Kid world. It's a new chapter that brings together characters from the 2010 film, of course, uh, where, Jack, where Jackie Chan played a Kung Fu master, and of course, Ralph Macchio, the late Pat Morita, all those characters together and bringing the story ahead. Also, anchored by a wonderful young actor named Ben Wong. He's the titular Karate Kid. He is amazing in this movie. You are going to love him. You're going to love this movie. It is coming in May, but you don't want to hear me talk about it. You don't want to stare at a poster. You want to see some footage, don't you? Yeah. Okay, that initial trailer. Uh, some good news, guys. You actually have the opportunity this Sunday. Some lucky folks here. If you look under your seats, some of you might find a bucking venom bill. I'm saying bucking venom very carefully because that could lead to calamity if I say it wrong. Uh, if you have that, you scan the QR code and you can actually ride. You're going to have a uh, experts riding the Venom horse, which is crazy, but also it's something only the Venom ones can do. Um, also, guys, I think you all have some Venom masks, don't you? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna, as we wrap up this amazing panel, thank you guys first for your time today. Congratulations on the movie. October 25th is coming very soon. But we're gonna take a photo. Everybody's gonna lift up their Venom masks, and I think we're gonna have our photographer come out, and we're gonna have a little moment, a Venom moment on stage. Let's have a moment, Tom, shall we? <laughs> I'll also just take this moment to tell you guys that you are also going to be getting a special edition IMAX Venom The Last Dance poster on the way out, guys. <laughs> to get everyone an upgrade on their movie ticket to see Venom The Last Dance in theaters opening weekend. So make sure to get yours on the way out and see Venom The Last Dance in IMAX opening weekend. Everybody, 
pose for Mr. Tom Hardy. The cast. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.